Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for SAT. We have been solving SAT math problems out of this book here, the SAT Official Study Guide 2020. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today I will solve the problems that you will find on page number 1004. Please turn to it, page 1004. We stopped yesterday at number 15, so we're going to pick up that story from number 16. 16, 17 and 18 as you can see in the book, they are all together. Uh, it's a triplet. Let's take a look at it. In number 16, we are told that age age of a tree is approximately equal to its diameter times what they're calling what they're calling growth factor its diameter in inches and its growth factor and they give us a table here here's the tree here are the different trees and here are the growth factors of all the trees I don't know exactly what they are you can look up in the book M R C W B E and P and H what those letters stand for you can look up in the book actually yourself it doesn't matter really and here are the growth factors four and a half Three and a half, two, four and a half, five, four, three, and seven. So that's the setup. The question is, what's the age? What's the age of an elm tree with a diameter of twelve inches? It's a quite straightforward question. We know the diameter. Diameter is 12 inches. It's the elm tree. Elm tree, elm tree is right here. That tells us the growth factor is 4. That's it. We're done. It's just 12 times 4. The age of the tree is its diameter. Its diameter, we are told, is 12 inches times the growth factor. We are told is 4 for the elm tree. And therefore, it is this particular tree, based on the size of its diameter, and based on the fact that they know the people who are doing this work, they know the growth factor of each of the different trees, we can be fairly certain that this tree is about 48 years old. Let's take a look at the second one. Number two. Again, of course, we're going to use the same table for 16, 17, and 18. As I said, it's a triplet. In number two, number two being number 17, in number 17, what we're dealing with are 26 trees, what we are dealing with are 26 trees of the same species, of the same species, 26 trees of the same species. And we are given a little chart here where in the x axis we have the diameter. On the y-axis we have the age. And as I said, it is the same tree. And they took the they took the measurement of uh, of its diameter, they know the age of the tree, and they plotted it against against these two things. And it looks something like this. I'm not going to do all of them here. The question simply is: if you were to let's read the, read, read this thing properly. It says the growth factor of this species is closest to that of which thing. And they, they're given as a line, a base fitted line, that looks something like this. I'm going to do my best here. Very straightforward. And since we know, since we know the age, since we know the age and since we know the diameter, from there, because, because the age is simply age is simply equal to the diameter times the growth factor since we know the age and we know the growth factor oh, sorry 
since we know the age and since we know the diameter, diameter is given here, age is given here, since we know these two variables, we can figure out the growth factor. And what we are asked, what are being, what, what we are being asked here is that once we know the growth factor by estimating the slope of this line, because that's what growth factor is going to be, growth factor from this equation here, we know the growth factor is approximately age, age divided by diameter. And once we have that, we can look at this chart and tell them these 26 trees that we have of the same species, which species is that out of these that are given to us. And that's all it is. It's a long story, but that's what it boils down to. It says the scalar plot above uh, gives the tree diameter plotted against, this, against the 26 trees of the same species. The growth factor of this species is closest to that of which of the following trees. And of course, not out of all of these three, because there are only four answer choices. Let's do it. Enough of the talk. So here's the... I'll tell you what I did, and you can do whatever you like. I simply took this... I, I just took the laziest... I just took the laziest route. I just used these two points right here, the origin. And I picked one point here. And it comes out of be... This thing is... Comes out of be... 110 and 15. 15, this was 15, and that is 110. The tree is 110 years old with a diameter of 15, and I took the other one as, as the growth factor, as the origin rather. So let's do that here. So now the slope, which is going to be the growth factor, the slope here is simply the change in y over the change in x. The y-axis is the age, which is right here, so the change in change in so, so the age, because we are using age over the diameter, the changes. And since we are using the origin as one of the points, we simply have to look at 15. The age is 110 over 15. And that's all I did. And I'm going to tell you in a second, when I looked up in the back of the book, in the answer choice to see what they had done, I'm going to share with you what they had done, and we're going to do is also we can also use uh, do it again using the two points that they use in the answer choices in the explanation. But that's what I did because that was the easiest way. That was the that was the lazy man's out because using the origin takes a lot less lot less work. So let's, let's let's do it here. We need the room. Where can we do it here? I have used up all the rooms here. Let's do this over here. One ten over fifteen. One ten over fifteen. Let's top, let's divide top and bottom by five. We'll have a 3 here, 11 has two fives, two fives are 10, the remaining one goes and joins a 0 and becomes a 10 again, and that has two fives. So it's 22, 22 over 3, 21 over 3 would have been 7, so it came out to be 7 and 1 third, which is the growth factor. And that's all, that's all you need, you, need, you don't need, we don't need a lot more sophistication than that, actually that is 7.5. The last one is 7.5. We don't need any more sophistication than that. We don't need any more precision than that. And that's all it is. And of course I know it takes a lot of time because, because I'm explaining everything. But if you're able to do all of this yourself, it shouldn't take that long at all. Just, just pick the origin, pick one point at the end and be done with it. So the growth factor comes out to be 7 and 1 third. As you can see of all the answer choices, they're all far enough apart. There is only one tree with a growth factor of 7, 7 7.5, which is hickory. So the answer to this question is hickory, and that turns out to be answer choice D. And that was question number 17. Now in the book, instead of using instead of using zero zero, they use another point here, which was 80 and 11. 80 and 11. The only thing it does is that only only thing it does is that it creates more work. It creates more work now because now the change in y is 110 over 80, which is 30, and the change in diameter is 15 minus 11, which is 4. So we're going to do 30 over 4. 30 over 4. Let's do using these two points here. Let's call this point A and point B. Using A and B, if you would do the same work now, the slope is going to be. using these two points that they use in the, in, the, in the explanation, in the back of the book, as I said. The difference 110 minus 80 is 30. 
15 minus 11 is 4, which is which is 15 over 2, which is 7.5, which is exactly what this is, 7.5. But as you can see, even by using that one, it's close enough. They are far enough apart. Do you understand? So that was number 17. Let's, let's move on to 18. I'm going probably at a too much of a leisurely pace and I'm going to regret it because at the end it's going to take a very long time. Okay, number 18. And number 18, we have white birch. Which I'm going to call B. And pink oak, which I'm just going to call it P. And we are told that each have a diameter of one foot. Now keep in mind that we were told in the formula that I just showed you a little while ago that the diameter is to be measured in inches. Here we are told that they both have a diameter of one foot. Well, one foot is 12 inches. The question is, what is the approximate difference in the diameter 10 years from now? This is the diameter right now, one foot. 10 years from now, 10 years from now, Ten years from now, what is going to be the difference in the diameter? That is the question. Right now, we are told that they both have they both have a diameter of one foot exactly. What is going to be the change in their diameter? 10 years from now because they both have different growth factor they're growing at different rates therefore 10 years from now right now they have the same diameter of one foot 10 years from now their diameters are going to be different and the question is what's the difference in diameter that's what it is let's find out shall we so the first thing before we can do anything at all is figure we have to first figure out what are, what are their ages today once we know their ages today once we know their ages today, we have their growth factor here. We know the ages today, we have the growth factor. We can figure out, uh, uh, we have the diameter here. We can figure out what the, uh, what the, how, o how old they're going to be. Once we know their age today, we can figure out how old they're going to be 10 years from now, just by simply adding the 10. Once we know their age 10 years from now, again, we can use the growth factor. By using the growth factor and by knowing the age that they will be 10 years from now, we can figure out their diameter at that point and that's what it is and take the difference. Let's do it, shall we? So, this is, th this is today. The age of birch is approximately equal to the growth factor, which is 5 for the birch, times the diameter, which is 1 foot, which is 12. So it looks like Bird is about 60 years old. The age of pink oak, which we are calling P, is approximately the growth factor of pink oak right here is 3 times again 12, which gives us 36 years. There you go. Which means 10 years from now, they are going to be 70 and 46. Let's do it on the top. Let's work on the birch. So now we're going to figure out the diameter of the birch. This is 10 years from now. Ten years from now. Let's work on the birch. The diameter of birch is going to be, again the formula is, the formula is that age is approximately the growth factor times the diameter. Using this formula, if you look at the diameter, the diameter is simply the diameter is simply h divided by growth factor. You see diameter is equal to h divided by growth factor. 
there you go. Well, we know how old birch is going to be 10 years from now because we just figured out how old birch was today. How old birch is, rather, is today. Well, today it is 60 years old, which means 10 years from now it's going to be 70 years old. We know the growth factor. The growth factor for birch, where is it? Right here, growth factor is 5. We just used it a little while, right here. Which means it will have a diameter of 14 inches. We're almost there. We're almost done. Let's do, let's do the pink oak that they're calling. The diameter of that guy is going to be, again, it's age 10 years from now. Well, it is 36 years old today. We just found it out. 10 years from now it is going to be 46 years old. And pink oak has a growth factor of 3. Again, we just use it right here. Forty-five over three would have been exactly fifteen. It's not forty-five, it is forty-six, so it's fifteen and one third. Fifteen and one third. There you go. The question was, what is the difference? We don't we're done with all of these things, I'm gonna reach this thing. The question was, what is going to be the difference in their diameter? It's very easy. It's very simple. The difference in their diameter. 10 years from now is going to equal to 15 and 1 third minus 14. 15 and 1 third minus 14. These are in inches. Therefore, 1 and 1 third inches. And that is answer choice C. 1 and 1 third inches, and that is answer choice C. And that's all there is. And I think I'm going to stop right there. We're going to stop right there. We'll meet again tomorrow and we'll pick up our story. Alright? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.